Alright, this is what we're going to be making. It's just a tutorial to make a muzzle flash for uh, gun firing. It's literally just two, two frames, or maybe three, uh, frame by frame. Uh, you can also just do this with point animation. You don't have to have frame by frame. Just make three different frames, use the same technique, and should be good to go. Um, also shows how to animate the character a little bit to show recoil. But other than that, um, it's fairly simple. So let's get started. Okay, I just put a black background um, on the canvas just so you can see what I'm doing a little better. But we'll start off by creating a new frame by frame uh, if you're in Anime Studio 11. And we'll call this Muzzle Flash. And we're going to go ahead and use the Draw Shape tool. So click here and then the rectangle tool and then change the fill color to this bright yellow right here and make sure you have auto fill checked and leave off the auto stroke we don't need a stroke on this so go ahead and draw a shape square and I'm gonna hit A and add some points just to make this uh, kind of spiky so it looks like an explosion going from left to right so just go ahead and add some points and oops, do like that. Just so you have a shape similar to this, um, I'm actually going to hit C and curve this endpoint out because this is where the flash is going to come from. Let's pull these out here for a second. Uh, it doesn't look like much now. Um, you could use this just by itself, but we're only going to make two frames for animation. And I'm actually going to hit Q and select my shape. And then I'm going to go up to Effect, hit the tab, and then hit Halo. And then select the color. And then let's use a orange, darker orange color, right? Uh, just like this. And we'll hit OK. And I'm going to change the inset radius. I'll click in here and just use my mouse wheel to scroll down and change it to about f 7. And hit OK and doesn't look like it did anything but if I hit Command R you'll see that the edges are all um, orange and the center remains yellow. So you can leave it like this again if you want it to be more cartoon looking your muzzle flash but I'm going to make this a little bit more realistic by closing that render window, double clicking on our layer, the muzzle flash, and then change the blur radius to 8. And then I'll change the opacity to 85, just to make it a little bit more transparent. Hit OK. Now if I hit Command R and render it, now you've got this kind of blurred um, explosion, which looks a little bit more like fire which is what we want. And then you can go back in here and go ahead and adjust these points by hitting T and selecting individual points and pulling them back. The skinnier these these points are, or these spikes, the more that they'll be uh, fade out to orange and leave the center yellow, which is what we want. So we can go ahead and keep adjusting this to however you want it to look. Um, for our beginning, uh, our first frame of animation. So we'll go ahead and do that. So while we're on um, uh, frame by frame, go ahead and we created that on frame zero. Go ahead and hit duplicate frame. So that duplicates it and this makes the uh, first keyframe this image. And then we'll duplicate it again. So we'll hit it one more time, these two boxes. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to use the magnet tool and just pull. It's kind of like a smearing tool if you've never used it. So it just grabs points and kind of pulls them along. You can also hit T and then adjust individual points if you want to. And I'm just extending this out to make this look like an explosion. And I'll go ahead and command R to render just to see what it looks like again. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to pull.
pull this point back just so we get this kind of fade and we'll just we'll just leave it right there so there's two frames we have the first frame second frame and then we're gonna go ahead and hit a new frame so just click this uh, square with a plus sign in it just so it makes a blank frame and I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the background just because we don't need this anymore so click on that if you have one and just delete it so you have just the muzzle flash so you have frame one two blank okay then go ahead and save that so we'll save as muzzle flash and go ahead and close that out. So I have my character here already. Um, I have him rigged. Got his army fatigues on, and or whatnot. <laughs> and you can see I already have a gun um, in his hand that's already uh, uh, bound to the hand bone. Whoa! Didn't mean to do all that. And I already created a first position for him get, to get ready to fire. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of animation um, because the muzzle flash isn't the only thing that makes a gun shot look real. You need to animate your character. So I'm going to go in the timeline a little bit. And with my character selected, I'm going to select all of his bones in his body by hitting Command A. And I'm going to freeze those frames by hitting Command F and that creates a keyframe for every bone. Then we're going to make a second um, uh, position. So we'll go two frames over. And this is for the recoil, so I'm going to hit Z. And then I'm just going to position his gun up a little bit, pull this other hand back, pull his body back, and even move torso back. Um, this character doesn't have target bone, so I need to put his make sure his feet stay in the same place. So we'll go ahead and turn on onion skins for just a second. And then click on the timeline in the gray area underneath the blue on that first keyframe. So we can see where his feet were at the uh, at the beginning of the uh, freeze frame. So hit Z and go ahead and move his feet kind of back in the same position as best as you can. And we have that. And that's all we really needed the onion skin for. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And then I'm going to select the first keyframes, the freeze frames that we made. Command C to copy. And then we'll go down maybe three, maybe even four frames. Oops. And then Command V to paste. So what happens is our character looks like he jerks back. If I play that. Oops, I already have a muzzle flash in there. I just did this tutorial <laughs> um, before and had to redo it. So, so now we have the character jerking back like he's shooting. And I'll go ahead and select all of these frames. Just left clicking and dragging over them, doing a command C, and then pasting them down the timeline in just random places. So now we have uh, four shots of him moving back and forth. Okay. Now I'm going to turn on the background um, that I grabbed from the internet, and I just put something on it to make it a little darker. So now we have the movement of our character. Um, now we need to add that muzzle flash in. So now that we have it saved, we'll just go to the uh, first instance of him moving, which is on frame. Uh, 20 and then we'll go ahead and go to file import anime studio object and then select muzzle flash and since that's the only thing that we created there's only one uh, layer so hit OK that brings that in and we'll click on the tra or transform layer tool and just move it into position so I'll put it right there just a little bit over the barrel of the gun and then let's scroll through to make sure it's shooting right there. And it's okay. See the second frame, the uh, blast is away from the gun. That's okay. It's going to be 
less than a second. Um, and it'll, it'll, it'll look fine. So if we render that, let's take a look. It looks like it's off, but, oh, that's the first frame. Let's do the second one. Looks like it's way off, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and render it out and you can see what it looks like. So we have that first muzzle blast. And then now we just need to scroll through the timeline, find our second uh, instance of him shooting back. So you see him rocking back right there. We'll go back one frame. Let's go ahead and copy and paste these uh, switch layer uh, keyframes. So go ahead and select those. Hit a Command C, Command V. And that'll place those switch layers there again. So he'll have another blast there. And since we have copied it already, we'll just go to the next instance. Okay, there he, he goes back. So we'll go back one frame. Paste, Command, uh, command V. And then let's find that last one. And he rocks back there. So we'll go back one and Command V. So now we have the blast, muzzle blast, on those uh, four instances of him uh, rocking back. Then the last thing you need to do is add audio. And you can, I actually got this gunshot noise from YouTube, it's free, if you just look in the Creative Commons. Um, and we'll go ahead and add audio now. And we do the same thing, kind of. We'll go to the first instance of the gunshot on the timeline, and then go up to the uh, layer palette, and then select audio. And I have, it's called Magnum Shot. And I'll just place it there. And you can see when I scroll through. Okay. So we got that first shot, but he shoots pretty fast, so we need to go to the next one. Even though the sound's continuing, we'll go to where the second shot occurs, even though it's overlapping the audio. Go ahead and place it again. Audio, magnum shot, open. How to place the second shot, or noise, and then There is the third. Again, go over to the layers. Audio. Magnum shot. Open. And then we'll go to the last one. Right there. And audio. Add audio, magnum shot. So if I play this, you should hear four shots. Okay. Um, oh, let me go ahead and animate his face just real quick. So, okay, here's the first gunshot. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. Um, freeze frame. I have a different set of bones just for the face. So I'm going to do a Command A, Command F to freeze frame all of the parts of the eye. Go two frames over. Go ahead and um, close his eyes. And like that. And then I'll copy the first frames. Select them. Command C. Go over two more frames and Command V just to open his eyes back up. This is an older rig, so I don't have all the uh, controls I usually have. So he shoots and blinks. I'll copy and paste. Uh, copy all the frames. Copy. Go to the second instance. I'll blink there. Paste there and there. Okay. All right, let's render that and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to render to like um, export animation to frame uh, 120. 
it's a very short animation, but it shows you, uh, you know, the character moving and the gun flash. So we'll go ahead and do that. Call it gunshot. And it shouldn't take too long to render. But I just wanted to make a gunshot tutorial mainly because I at least get two or three requests for it a week. <laughs> it must be a really big thing for animators to do uh, gunshots, but it's not, it's not very hard. It's just the muzzle blast. Um, you can add more if you want to. If you have an, like an automatic weapon, you can just uh, every two or three seconds use the same blast over and over you can make it bigger if you have a bigger weapon you can use it for a cannon um, this the principle is the same for any any gun or any type of fast explosion so hopefully this guy's or this helps you out hope <laughs> can't talk <laughs> Hopefully, this helps you guys out if you need to make a uh, gunshot. And let's play that and see how it looks. All right, that looks pretty good. I, I think that I could have... Mm, yeah, the maybe the muzzle blast. No, I think that looks pretty good. So there it is. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks.